if the chart is just for America, how can you disqualify Jews when you don't know the history of every family who could have had some Israelite descent? Um, I, I don't know if I understand the question fully. Um, now, we research people all over the world. So the chart is in pertinence to the, you know, North Central and South America. And we also have other groups of people throughout the world who we've also identified as Israelites. Um, so, uh, you know, we study people and we study nations of people. Now, these are generalizations. I want to make this clear. Um, these are not we're not speaking in absolutes. These are generalizations. Um, of course, when we're working with displays that are there that are made to uh, pr uh, provoke people to be engaged. Right. Which is the chart. Um, what, what is that? What is that now? My bad. That's my door. My bad. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm you, sorry. You're good. You, you're good. So, so, I'm mute. so, so anyway, uh, what I was saying, well, okay. The generalizations that, that needs to be understood. So, so the, the, the particulars of who we understand the 12 tribes to be is not expressed in the chart itself. It's expressed through the conversation when people come and ask about the court chart pursuant to Ezekiel, the 37 chapter. So in understanding that, um, we have other people throughout the world outside of the Americas that we identify with Israel, either generally as Israelites or through particular tribes. Um, so we definitely study the peoples of the world to the best of our ability. Explosion. 